Are you looking around at the people in your family who've got some nasty health issues and are scared that that's just basically your fate? I'm Hannah Mason, Vitality Coach, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you're not bound by your genes. I gotta tell you, there's one kind of gene that you really have to look out for because it can really bind you in. And those are those really tight genes that you have to lie down and stuck in your stomach in order to be able to button. The rest of your genes, your genetic package that's given to you in your DNA, has so much more to do with how you can gain health and vitality than by what's going to make you sick. So for example, people have become really obsessed with the BRCA gene as it relates to breast cancer. And it just so happens that the BRCA gene can cause so many more positive health outcomes than negative ones. It's turned on based on your lifestyle, mostly your food choices. And so it actually turns out that less than 5% of breast cancers are genetic. And even those can be tremendously affected by the lifestyle that women choose to have. And this is true for every kind of cancer, for all diabetes and heart disease and, and, infl and, and inflammatory disease and things like Alzheimer's and pain-oriented illnesses, just you name it. The vast majority of illnesses really have so much more to do with our lifestyles. And the number one thing that's actually affected health outcomes the world over more than anything else is the simple bar of soap. People now washing their hands after they go to the bathroom have prevented the diseases that have killed more people than anything else. We're talking about cholera that causes diarrhea to the point of dehydration and death. Cholera doesn't seem like a big deal to those of us who live in westernized, civilized countries. But if you're still living in sub-Saharan Africa or in many parts of India, cholera is a big deal. And just having a bar of soap and having a bathroom that you can go to rather than just like going on the street makes a huge difference. But if you are living in westernized society where now cleanliness is just kind of a basic thing, what are the things that you can do to not feel bound by your genes? Well, the number one thing you can do is not believe that you're bound by your genes because as you continue to believe that, oh, if my father had heart disease, I'm bound to get heart disease, or if my mother had breast cancer, I'm bound to have breast cancer. If you believe that, so your body tends to follow whatever orders you give it. That's one issue. The other issue is if you believe it, then you don't feel tremendously empowered to try to do things that are really gonna make a big difference in your health. The other thing is that if you believe that, then all of the messaging that's around you that's constantly giving you information for how you can be a happier, healthier, more vital person, you're just gonna turn all of that information away. You won't even register it, you'll delete it from your memory because it's not particularly relevant anyhow, or so you believe. And so the first thing you can do for yourself is shift in your belief system around genetics. The vast, vast majority of the illnesses that most of us face have nothing whatsoever to do with genetics, but they have a ton to do with the choices you make on a daily basis. And most of the genes that we have that have to do with health have the ability to produce positive health outcomes if we make certain choices and negative health outcomes if we make other choices. So for example, when you eat meat, you encourage the growth of the bacteria in your digestive system that produces harmful chemicals that cause cancer. But if you eat plants, then you encourage the growth of other bacteria that produce the chemicals that kill cancer. Like how cool is that? Your choices have a huge effect on your health outcomes. So right from this very day, you can shift your belief from I'm bound by my genes to I can live beyond my genes, right? Or my genes don't matter. I'm bound by the choices that I make or the choices that I make have massive effects on my health on a daily basis. And that is so incredibly empowering. Your health is totally in your hands. 
And if you engage in conversation with vitality coaches like me, right, then I can tell you, wow, all you need is a little bit more information and possibly more motivation, or you need to get rid of all the limiting beliefs that you have that are blocking you from going after what you know you deserve. You deserve incredible health. You deserve happiness and vitality and energy. And you can have all of that as long as you do the things that feed all of that. And most of them, you know what they are. You know that exercise fuels you, sunshine, fresh air, sleep, healthy food. You know this stuff. And the only thing that might be blocking you is all of these beliefs you might have in your head, such as I'm bound by my genes. So I want you to make sure you get to my website, go fill out the health quiz, hannamason.com slash health quiz. You can take the quiz and see every single one of the beliefs that's getting in your way bring them from the subconscious up to the conscious level. That way you can really see what you're dealing with. And then you can use the Hold That Thought program to get yourself into a different state of thinking and a different state of mind so that it suddenly becomes easy and exciting to chase after your health goals and to chase after your mental health goals. And I also recommend that while you're on the site, you check out our membership program, you explore coaching opportunities. We have personalized coaching and group coaching. And in the meantime, I'm just, wow, feeling so energized talking to you. I can feel this bird is just fluttering and these guys are just ready to fly because there's so, so many possibilities just waiting for you if you grab them. And so go to my site and for the rest of your day, for the rest of your week, for the rest of your year, fill every ounce of you, fill every cell in you with so many beautiful joys. Want to find out what's blocking your vitality? Quickly take the quiz at hannamason.com slash health quiz.